My name is Brian Critchfield. I head up all the digital marketing at uh, On Semiconductor. Um, have been in marketing for about 25 years uh, and digital for about 20 of those. With On Semiconductor, we have uh, been in business for about 20 years. Um, it was a spinoff of Motorola back in the late 90s. Um, has gone through uh, several acquisitions and built up to uh, a larger business. When I joined, I joined about two and a half years ago, um, we were doing marketing like most of the industry was doing, uh, which was running uh, banner ads on publisher sites is the, the majority of what it is that we did. Uh, so when I joined, uh, we did some analysis around uh, what, you know, what that cost per conversion model was or for that, or cost per conversion was for that model. What we found was very, very interesting. On Semiconductor is a global company. Uh, so across the globe, we would measure for each region. Uh, in, in, you know, we saw as high as close to $5,000 cost, cost per conversion, all the way down to about uh, $70 cost per conversion. So what that means is we were, it was costing us roughly $5,000 to get somebody in Japan to download a data sheet on our website. Uh, so that was obviously a very big uh, red flag for us, something that we needed to, to solve that problem. So that was, you know, one of our, our one of the first things that I did in joining the company is set about trying to solve that particular problem. We've been working with Genius Monkey for roughly about two years. Uh, the challenge that we had was uh, that we would run these ads on publisher websites, and so you'd have EE Tech or All About Circuits or all of these engineering-based websites. We'd place an ad on that website. And then we'd wait for engineers to come to the website. And our cost per conversions were astronomical. Uh, the, the CPMs were astronomical because again, they have this dedicated audience that they can charge for. Uh, our, our, our move to programmatic was really about how do we not just place ads and wait for them to come to us, but how do we follow them wherever they go? How do we target exactly the audience that we want uh, it's much more efficient for our spend because even being a big company, uh, our, our, our advertising spend is not it is not commiserate with that, right? It's not this giant spend that we have. So how do we be much more efficient, much more targeted with our spend by following them around wherever they go and not just touch them once when they come to the, the publisher's website, but how do we touch them multiple times as they go throughout that customer journey? That was our move to, to Genius Monkey and to Programmatic. Campaign strategy-wise, we were broken into three of our major segments, market segments. Automotive, uh, industrial and cloud power, and then IoT. Uh, the, the interesting thing about those is now you've got, within each segment, we've got to target them by region. And it's all about how do I get to the right people at the right time and the right message. And so now this message I've got is highly targeted. I want design engineers in the automotive segment in Japan who are working on these specific projects. So it's very specific about that targeting. And Genius Monkey is very good about finding those targets, number one, but then helping us with the split testing aspect of it. So I'm going to run maybe four sets of ads to that particular group, figure out which one's doing the best, and then we start to evolve away from the ones that are underperforming to the ones that are, are, are doing well. And, and that I think has been a big part of the optimization process for us, is finding you know, which of these messages resonate with these audiences that we're able to reach through our target. First of all, we did see an instant impact uh, as soon as we started using Genius Monkey. That you saw it in our traffic, uh, I would also tell you that in any sort of digital campaign, you have to have that, that one key metric that you measure. For us, it's cost per conversion. Uh, I, I think impressions are good, cost per clicks are good, you know, CPMs are good, all of that's good. It tells part of the data story, but there has to be one that you focus on. And for us, that's cost per conversion. And as I told you in the beginning, uh, you know, that was roughly two, $3,000 when you measure it globally, our cost per conversion running banner ads on publisher sites. We had to improve that. Naturally, we had to improve that. So when we started with Genius Monkey, our numbers roughly $8 cost per conversion, which is, is still quite good for, for a programmatic campaign. Uh, normally banners being upper funnel, they're gonna be kind of a higher cost per conversion. So at being $8 roughly uh, cost per conversion, 
that's huge out of the gate. So that was our first month. Today, two years later, we're under a dollar in that cost per conversion. So it continues to improve. That's the one thing I love about the, the, the team at, at Genius Monkey is they're constantly optimizing, constantly improving. They'll come to us and say, let's run this ad over that ad. Let's run this channel over that channel. It's not me constantly saying, how can we improve? How can we get better? Uh, which is a, a challenge I've had with other vendors, most vendors in the past. Genius Monkey is constantly improving. So that's a huge, a huge difference between $8 down to less than a dollar in your cost per conversion, which again is our key metric. Genius Monkey is a good mix of both digital communication as well as personal communication. Uh, first of all, the reporting that comes from your system on a regular basis is extremely helpful. It automatically comes to us or we can log in and automatically pull up real time. So that's been a huge help, but we do have regular contact with the team at Genius Monkey. We're constantly talking uh, to the team on how to optimize and improve, but, but also back up a little bit too as well and, and, and share something that, that might not be uh, as apparent. Genius Monkey does one thing very well. It does programmatic, does it very well. I come from the agency business. Most agencies out there are general contractors, uh, meaning that they are, you know, they take care of strategy and all that kind of stuff, but then they bring in experts from other fields, whether, you know, they're independent contractor or, or partnering to, to actually execute on a campaign. There's very few agencies that have everything in-house under one roof. Um, and so they're constantly going, we can do programmatic for you. Hey, we can do, we'll do programmatic for you. It's constantly this thing of, hey, we can take over programmatic. Uh, I've always said, uh-uh, Genius Monkey is always our programmatic provider because again, I've tried banner ads, I've tried this and other, and nobody can perform like, like Genius Monkey can. But the other aspect of that too, as well is Genius Monkey plays very well in the sandbox with others. So we'll have, meetings where we'll have all of our agencies on along with Genius Monkey to talk through, here's our strategy for this year. And, and Genius Monkey is always really good at, at supporting the other agencies, at supporting our team, and how can we work better together to just ultimately improve results in the end. Uh, I, don't, I don't get any of that, oh, we'll do that for you, or this is, you know, you know not made here mentality, right? This is don't touch our, uh, don't touch what we're doing here. Uh, they've always been very good at, at, at playing well with others.